by Paul Ivice for the Times Union Bureau Beach, after Trinity Christian right fielder Breezy Burnett hit what appeared to be a routine single to right field in the fifth inning of the Conqueror State semifinal game Monday evening, she looked up to see the back of her Montverde Academy counterpart as she ran to the fence. Burnett was surprised, but still went into top wear as she circled the bases with the tie-breaking run in Trinity's eventual 3-2 win to advance to the Class 4A final Wednesday at historic Dodger Town. The Conquerors had been to the state semifinals five times before, including trips in 2016 and 17. But every time, Trinity came up short. Every time, that is, until Monday night. Trinity pushed across a huge run in the bottom of the sixth inning, a triple by Kendall Johnson, followed by a sacrifice RBI by Bailey Cooley, to take a 3-1 lead. Montverde pushed one run across in the seventh and had the tying run on third base before Cooley ended it with her fifth strikeout of the game to send the Conquerors on to the championship game. Trinity will face either Westminster Christian or Oxbridge Academy on Tuesday at 7.05 p.m. Veteran head coach J.R. Borden said that his team stayed sharp through two rounds of tournament postponements by hitting and taking infield practice in their covered cages, they worked hard all the time during the break, Borden said. The Conquerors, 19-10, have built their brand this season on power, speed and defense, but against Montverde's tough left-hander Trinity Whitfield, they had to settle for the latter two. Burnett, an 8th grader, said when she saw her single roll to the fence, I knew that I wasn't going to stop Burnett needed every bit of her speed to score ahead of the relay home. Lead-off hitter Alexis Ross, a junior, set the tone for Trinity when she led off the bottom of the first with an infield single, stole second, took third on a bunt single by her cousin, Amaya Ross, and scored when Montverde's third baseman missed a pickoff throw from the catcher. The Conquerors also got a crucial insurance run in the sixth when Johnson led off with a triple over the center fielder's head, then scored on a sacrifice fly by Cooley. Cooley had a rough moment in the third inning when the Eagles, 21-9, loaded the base with two outs and a single, a walk a hit batter, but she got the third out on line or right back at her, gloving it before it hit her midsection, that gave me a little fire in myself, and it showed me they could hit. Cooley said. So, I knew I had to change a little something and hit my spots a little better, Cooley retired the next nine Montverde batters, before giving up a couple of singles in the seventh inning. The Eagles scored a consolation run, and had the tying run on third base but Cooley fanned Whitfield for the final out.